had. Have had. These are the words you'll be looking at. So when we get there, don't be found wanting. There will be three words on the line. One will be said, and you have to listen attentively to distinguish between the words and find the right one. Great. So we go to a next group of vowels. We have this pot, spot, rod, knowledge. Okay, I brought this word there because oftentimes you hear not, but it's not knowledge. Okay, we have a friend, which is also pronounced some way. So we have college. And then I will say, I like to bring these ones to your attention, body. Okay, some say body, but body, B-U-D-D-Y, body. This is body, right? Good. So that's O, oh, the O oh sound. We know O. Oh. So when you find a word and we have the sound there, we should not be found wanting. Then we have this. The O oh sound that we know in whatever language, and then we bring a colon at the back, to mean that it is a long vowel. So the first one is the O oh, that we know, but it is blocked, which means it is a short vowel. But when the same O oh is not blocked, but there's a colon at the back, then we pronounce it as O. Oh. And you have words like port, sport. There should be R here. This is S P O R T, sport. Okay. And then you have law. The A W gives you a sound O. Then we have A U also O. So this is pronounced as launch. Okay. Sometimes people say it's like this one L U N C H. That is lunch. Well, the food we take in the afternoon, lunch. When we are in school, we take lunch, right? But a program is launched. So we are going to launch a program. And you can have that sound in words like uh, laundry. Okay. Okay. Or you say somebody has said something, and therefore what they have said is laudable, not laudable. Okay. So it's also all laudable. You have a laudable idea. I hope you've got that sound. Oh, great. We have done all of that before. We are just reviewing them so that when we find them anywhere, we know be found wanted. Then we have this sound. You know, let's learn it from here. This is could, should, would. And therefore, the same sound rounds through. So double O G O O D will be good. Good, cook. You need to cook something for me. And then we have foot. Wall, this is pull, okay, pull it, push, bush, they are all here, and then you have full. Oh, we have the sound in our language, and we can say it. Oh, full, that's the symbol for it. You, you don't have to struggle to find this, okay. So, when I write this, and I have here, this is foot, okay, you should not struggle to find it. Good. Then we have the next one. The U that we know with a colon in front of it is a long vowel. So we can start from here. Food is food. We know food. And then we know rude. And then you. Rule, shoot, mood. And therefore this is fool. And then pool. But P-U-L-L -L is pool. So when we go there and we find them, whatever is pronounced, we should be able to identify that. Great. So you have that as well. And sometimes people are funny, they say something, and we should get it right. School is cool. Okay, or school. I don't know. But when you say people understand. But since we are here for the proper or the appropriate pronunciation, so that when it is said we know we found one thing, it is cool. School. Okay, but this is different. So we have that scalp. That we will get to that sound. It is this. This is school. It's a scar. All right. Good. We go to the next group. Let me erase this so we can get a sense of everything we are doing properly. Okay. So we have the next sound, which is. Yes, we know that. 
O L O V E is ah, okay. Love. Then you have cover. It is here. The U under, right? We all know under. Then so this word, the one I'm circling is dove. Okay, dove. Once you have love here, you have dove, and you should be able to pronounce it. You have lunch, hut. The O here is other. So it's also a, uh, like the O in C O M E, the same sound, come. So we should not be found wanting. But when we have this, O, U, O, R, D, R, that is order. Okay? And that's order. That's uh, the weak vowel. So let me write it properly for you. This one is this. Or with a colon here and then the then you have the shua vowel which is a weak vowel so order but this one is other other okay the o here is like the sound in come or some and then the sound in dove or love or cover and this o u here too we don't say the n like though i'm saying count okay and therefore, this O-U is like the O-U in T-O-U-C-H, touch. So we say country, not count, like country. And then you have tough, and this will be double. Okay, if you have double, then you can also have trouble. Okay, the O-U there. In some words, it can be a diphthong, which, which will be O-U-T, will give us out. It is... A different situation but what we are looking at are words that will have this combination of letters OU giving us a as in country touch tough and double and you have love cover under dove lunch hat and even sometimes this is funny but it's true okay the O here has the same sound as the A and the E becomes a schwa, so we say it as stomach. Okay, stomach, but no problem. If you can say it, nobody will beat you. But when it is said, you should be able to identify it, and you practice. I think practice is important, so that when you come across it, you will not be found wanting. Or when you are writing, you might be traveling somewhere to study, and when you have to write something, you don't have to be saying, pardon, pardon, eh? you'll be laughed at. So let's try to at least get a sense of it when it is said you should be able to identify it and shade as our answers thank you very much we go to the next group which i have to do is um the schwa sound as i was saying this sound is quite an interesting one and i know you know okay is the e turn upside down and they put us as the the schwa sound <laughs> It's a, it's a weak vowel. So we know a lot, okay? When you have a table, a man, a boy, okay, that a sound is what we have here. It can be at the beginning of a word like alone, again. And so you can have a way, a lao, the a sound. And then, so we have a lot. But it can also come from er, and it will be at the end of a word, okay? Where you say it as, chapter or water or leader so we have chapter but it can also be a r here ordinarily would have say pa but this one's uh so you see it's like particular and it's at the back here too the uh. so particular you have to be particular about your spelling and pronunciation so we have allow you have center and teacher the e r gives you the and then you can also have O-R, like uh, P-A-S-T-O-R. The O-R here will give you a, so you say it as pastor. And so if you have that, that means you can also have doctor. Okay, doctor. And somebody says cantata, right. So the uh, symbol is what we have got here. And I think that... These are the vowels, they call the pure vowels that we studied when we were in 
first year, Form 1. There was a review in Form 2, and it had to be consolidated in Form C, and that is what we use for our lesson comprehension, Text 1. Text 1 has to do with vowels, pure, long and short, and then their friends are here. So we also looked at diphthongs, and a diphthong is a combination of two vowel sounds. Okay, so we'll be looking at these words, you know them. So you have the first person singular pronoun, I, by, die, die again, fight, sight, sight, kite, right, miserly, time, I'm. Okay, all of these have a common sound. And there's two sounds, ha, a, e, I. A, E, I. So that's what we call a diphthong, a combination of two vowels. You have the A, A, and then you have the E put together. And they are set to, together. It's a glide from, a, a quick glide from one sound to the other. You have I, by, die, die. Those are Homophones, they sound the same but different spelling and different meaning. D I E D Y E. In some situations, when we get to text five, we will say they rhyme. Okay? Die as in to die and not live, and then die to change the color of something to die. Okay? So that's it. And fight and sight. They all have I, I, sight, kite, right. Mightily, time has I in it and my. I'm this, I brought it here for a purpose. When people are writing, I am, okay, which is should either be I am or I'm, they write am. We have done that when we're looking at mechanical accuracy. This is not what we are to write as in I'm, I'm, I'm fine, okay. No, we have done that before. You either say I apostrophe M, which is, has this, I, and then M. Mm. So the I is there before the M mm comes. So it's I'm. I deliberately put it there. If you want to use the contractor's form in informal situations when you're writing to you, your friends or people you're familiar with who are not in a positions of authority, then you use the I'm, contracted forms, informal letters. But when you're writing to people in uh, formal positions or informal letters, who are in positions of authority, where they'll put your letter on a file, you have to write in full. So I am, not am. So don't say I'm fine. Say I'm fine, or I am fine. I hope you've got that. Thank you very much. Then we go to the next one. So a diphthong, you have joy, coil, soil, oil, foil. Think these ones are no part, no? So here we're looking at oi, oi, okay? And the o is o and e put together. The o sound, not blobbed, and then e sound, okay? Then we come to this, date. Maze, maze, rain, bake, faith, fate, wait, obey. So you have one or oh, sound that's common to all of these words. That's a. You have a and a put together. A, 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 a. So date, maze, maze, rain. Bake, faith, and then you have faith, wait, obey. Okay, it's a, it's a wonderful sound. I love it. And I know you'll be able to handle that as well. So let's look at all of that. Have the next sound. We said this song. We have these words. We know how to pronounce them. We have ow, a, o, a, o, as ow. And so we have out. Then O-W could also be out. So you have cow. And then we have O-W and O or L, which will give you owl. 
All right, don't forget that. Once you know the base, you have to come from a point of knowledge, which has to do with cow, and then you say owl, then o oh, you hear rouse, mouse, bout, house. We know all of these, and douse the fire, you douse the flame. So douse. Don't forget that. And we go to our next diphthong, that is the a boy that we said, and then oh. So we pronounce like oh, oh. Now relax and just say it. I know you are saying it. Oh, relax. Eh, oh, oh. Great. So we have low, so. And then there's another so, sewing address, right? Sewing machine. So so, and then so a seed. In some breaths, S O W can be south, a female pig or something, sow. That will be in the same category as cow. But here we looking at O W as O, as in low, sow a seed, sow a dress as in E W. Then we have mode. Okay, there's just one O here, but O A road. And you have broke, coat, the word, the one issue we wear, and then you coat probably. Uh, a passage or a topic, you quote quotation to support whatever you are saying. So you you look at them with the O sound. Eh. Oh, just practice it. Eh. Like a boy. Eh. Then you add O to it. It becomes O. It's not difficult to say. I hope you've been able to say that. Great. So that is another diphthong. And that is what I wanted you to know. The diphthongs as we have seen them, I bought eight, so we have looked at five, and then you see these words, fear, beer, here, you hear me, mayor, mayor, this one is not part, okay, they're not part of this group, they can't be here, so this is ear, fear, beer, here, here, Mere, they all are here. It's e and e put together. The e sound is prominent here. E, 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 fear, be it, near. And when this is said, I don't think you'll find them uh, worrying you. So there's this that people say. So this is you shed tears. So this is tear. So you can have tears. But what we come into is different. The same word can, okay, it is pronounced as the sound here, the eh. So you have eh and eh put together. Eh, eh, eh. So you tear, okay, you tear my book, not you tear my book, right? But you shed tears, but you tear it. So you have you dare, eh. You dare not talk to me that way. Watch how much is the fair. And then I was there. Then you say their parents are here, not there. You know, T H is there. Okay, their parents are here. And what you do is not fair. Not fair. Fair is F U R. Fair. Okay, my mouse have hair or fair. That's it. And then where. Okay, so get that. Eh, eh. Then you put them together quickly. One is eh, one is eh. Eh, there, fair, there, there, fair, then where. A lot of them. Then you have oh and eh. So how will you pronounce it? You said it. Oh, eh, oh. Eh. All right, so this word, you should be able to pronounce it. Lure. You, you, I don't want you to lure me. You can't lure me to do what I don't want to do. Lure. Uh, and then you have sure. Are you sure about it? Sure. All right, sure. <laughs> Wonderful. And then people will say poor. Okay, some of them are poor. And then secure. And so then you can also have cure in it. Okay, cure, pure have to be pure and the word is security so you have secure and it is oh, eh. don't run away from it I know you can say are you sure about it sure okay I'm sure and you will not lure me it's not poor secure security pure pure good 
So these are the diphthongs that we have to know. We know as, as we have gone through, we have all of these. You have I, you have oi, you have a, you have ow, then you have o. Then we have come to the friends here, which are ear, air, and oi. And that is what will constitute this, the words that you select for text one. So for text one, we're going to look at pure vowels and diphthongs. And when we talk about the pure vowels, we are looking at vowels that are short or long. And the diphthongs will be a glide. And you have three words on a line in text one. So as I said, we're going to do some practice. I am going to put the words there. And we're going to do our first text. That's text one, which comprises vowels and diphthongs, or what they call pure vowels and diphthongs. You have 10 questions, so take your pens and papers, and when we start, you do them by writing maybe the words. So you mention the word and you mention the letter, after which you give us a call, and then we will know whether you're able to identify them, and they will be learning together. That's what it is. When it comes to oral English, we do not talk when we are in there we only shade but you have to listen so that's where we are going now let's see before that we will look at the consonant sounds which will be for text 2 so that when we are together we'll be doing both text 1 and text 2 okay so let's look at consonant sounds I know that the consonant sounds you know them okay and it shouldn't be a problem there are a few that pose challenges to us and those are the ones I want you to know basically the consonants that are in English the sounds are a few are the ones I've written there and those are produced at the same place with your two lips okay so they are called bilabial sounds you use your lower lip and upper lip and then you you block there and release them suddenly with the first one you say a p and p the p letter p is written so wherever a word is written, and then you have any word beginning with p or p in there, you should be able to identify. So, pack and b, which is voiced. We learned that when we were in form one, voiced and voiceless sounds. And these are plosives or your stops. So, you'll be able to identify. And then, m, and nasal, stop. Because you block the sound, the air here with your two lips, and you release the air through your nose. So, you say, m. And wherever there's man, mad, make, you find them. Okay, so these are not challenging. And then you have those that are here. Its counterpart is v. Okay, you use the lower lip and the upper front teeth to do and then v. v is voice because there's some vibration in your vocal cords. And you don't have to struggle when you find, let's say, L A U G H laugh. You should be able to see it and then L O V E love. You shouldn't struggle at all. Okay, so these ones we know them because we write. But when it comes to the next one, which, where you bring your tongue out a little and put your teeth on it, you push the air. What sound did you make? Your tongue, your teeth on it, push the air through it. I've done it, right? That is, so you have words like think, that, okay, think, or that, or something, or father. That's the TH, okay? And for the TH, we have symbols for them. One is like theta, so that's a symbol for the TH. And then for the other TH in father, that's the symbol. So you can have think then you can have that you can have this breath then you can have this with the e at the end as breathe okay like together right that sound is voiced they are all dental sounds 
or some call them interdental because you have your tongue between the upper front and the lower front teeth. So you have think, I think that those there have been through thick and thin together. So you have think and that. Those are the symbols that we don't write and we don't really have them in our mother tongue, our second language learners of English. So we make conscious effort to be able to say P-A-S-T and then P-A-T-H so that when you have past and this is path, you shouldn't struggle to know that they said path and the other one was past. I hope we get that. And then when we have, for instance, T T H I R S T, you have thirst. And then when you have this F I R S T, first, you should not struggle to identify them. This is T H, this is F. Many times people say the TH, which is death, as though they were saying, F, because it's not in our mother tongue. I'm not forcing you to say it, but as young people at the SHS level, we can learn and, and say it right. When it is said, even if you cannot say it like the way it, it will be said, you should be able to discriminate or identify what has been said so that you will not be found wanting. So this, for the TH, you should not struggle. Thank you. So you can have thank or thanks. Then you can have T A N K S. That is thanks. And we have thanks. Okay, when it is said, you shouldn't struggle. And you should know breath and breathe. And then you have cloth and clothes. I, I know we are, we are taking notice of that. So that when it is said, don't, don't, don't worry your head, you should be able to identify them. That's why I'm drawing attention to them when it comes to the consonant sounds. I hope you are cool. Great. Then, as I said, there are others that might pose problems for us. For the other from here, these are interdental. So we go to where they call the Avula, okay, avula sounds are also there, just behind the upper front teeth. There's a ridge there. When the tongue goes there, about seven sounds are produced. And we, we know all of them because we write them. We have t, and then we have d. You have s. Its counterpart is z. Okay, so when we meet them, we don't struggle. We should be able to find them. And that should not be a problem for us at all. You have t, d, s, z. Okay, and then you can also have L and M and R. They are all produced behind the upper front teeth and we shouldn't worry at all when we have found them. Okay, quite apart from that, I think we have two other sounds which we have in our languages but are also not written. Okay, the symbols are not what we used to write. So. The, the symbols are, you have some t and then the long s, which is for ch or tch. So you can have ch, like child, and you have watch. Okay, so you should not struggle because in our mother tongue we have ch, and ch is not difficult to find. You can also have the long s, which is sh, like shared or shop okay or wash you should not struggle to identify those ones i hope you're following then the other symbols you also have um you have d then you add j to it it shouldn't create a problem for you okay so that's j we have j like judge or uh, gem or just you have all of that you should not you shouldn't struggle with it and then we have the j sound which is like you write in z and then you come down so words like v i s o n v i s o n you have vision okay 
that SION gives you the gym and you can have division or provision, measure and the like. I don't know whether you, you struggle to say that at all. You have pleasure and then measure. All of these are not difficult to find at all. So try and, and get a sense of these um, consonant sounds as I've told you. When you see ch, you shouldn't struggle. Sometimes you can have cho and sho, S H O R E, are to be sho. And you can have C H O R E, cho. Your job is to listen and be able to identify whether it is cho or sho. The ch and the sh is important. So that when we get to text you, you'll not be found wanting. There's another sound which we really don't write, and it is the sound in U I U N I T U N I T. The U there is a vowel letter, but the sound it gives you is E. Okay, so you pronounce that unit, and then Y O U. You have the J there, so you have U. And it's written as though you are writing small j. So it's e. Okay, when you see it, don't, don't struggle at all. You see you anywhere you find yourself. So that is not a problem. And then there is the sound that comes when n meets g. When n meets g at the end of a word, the n becomes mm, and the g is not pronounced. So s, i, n, g, you pronounce that sing okay or r-i-n-g ring and you can have singing or you can have um bring or ring as i've said so we say doing therefore k-i-n-g is king but k-i-n is kin you should be able to get the distinction when you say the k-i-n yeah the tip of your tongue should go to the upper front teeth so you have kin, but K-I-N-G, you say it inside, the air is blocked inside, and it comes through your nose, as in king. So our king is here. And that is what I'd like you to know. These ones are the ones we don't write, the T-H sounds, and V. So think that, okay, father, together, breathe, breath, cloth, clothes, you should not struggle with them when it is said. Even if you can't say it, you should be able to identify it when it is said. And I've also said that the sounds ch and sh can create problems for you when they are said. You only have to be attentive that this one is sh or like you have tertiary where t becomes sh or social where C also gives you that sound. So social, tertiary, all of that, you should not struggle to identify them. Then we have also, we have also said that the sounds J, okay, like gem, and J, measure, pleasure, so it's a vision or provision or occasion, we should not struggle to find them. And I also said that when you have U and I T, that's unit, even though the letter is a vowel letter, the sound that you get is a consonant sound. Some call it a semi-vowel, and so you shouldn't struggle at all to find that when we get to the test. So as I did say, we will be having our test pretty shortly, and when you get there, this is what we are to do. You will hear this instruction when you get in there. They will say, listen carefully, in this test, there are three words to a line. I am going to read one word from each line. Beside the word I read, there is a letter. Shade this letter on your answer sheet. Today we'll not be shading. We'll only be trying to identify the words. So we will be writing the words or writing the letters. I hope that you are ready. And we will go for a short commercial break. When we come back, we will be doing our test. 
we will go for a short commercial break. And so. is two years. Oh, how time flies. Today I have been a benefactor and students in this country and beyond are also benefactors. We appreciate even how you handled the inconveniences that came with the lockdown with the COVID, even helping students to learn even in their homes. So with your two years anniversary, we say congrats and keep up the good work you are doing. We wish you success in the future. And I know that Ghanaians are expecting more from you. Two might sound very soon in a way, but Joy Lane has done a lot. And on this note, I would want to wish Joy Lane a happy two year anniversary. The whole country is now into it. They are watching Joy Learning, they are learning. So I would only say that it should continue and it should work harder than before. I hope that many more students will find it not just as an appendix, but as an integral part of their learning experiences. Let's encourage our wards or our kids to watch Joy Learning so they learn something better because day in day out new things are being taught. For mathematics in particular, I look forward to the day when because of Joy Learning and every other such intervention, mathematics would not be feared. It would be revered, respected, loved. I mean, the kind of subject that you don't run away from when you hear it, but you embrace it. Joy Learning. Joy learning. Joy learning. Joy learning. Joy learning. Joy learning. vacation and desperately want to catch up with the syllabus? Slow, slow. Don't fret because Joy Learning is giving you free extra classes not only on TV but on Zoom. Did you encounter any challenges with certain topics at school? Bring them here and we will help you get it solved with no sweat, Charlie. We are offering you a one-on-one -on -one teaching and learning opportunity with our award-winning TV teachers. Is it mathematics, general science, English language or any of the elective subjects that you have challenges with? Meet our teachers for easy solutions. How do you join these free extra classes on Zoom? One, download the Zoom app from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Two, create your username. Three, look for our Zoom meeting password on all our social media handles every week. And voila, you are good to join our virtual classroom from the comfort of your home. Make a date this Saturday with your facilitator at 12 noon prompt. The Joy Learning teacher and you, we don't stop learning. Joy Learning, keep learning. Just a click away on your phone, tablet, and computer. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Joy Learning TV and watch our recorded lessons. The Revision Show is now live on Joy Learning TV, on your multi-TV Digibox, and on Facebook at Joy Learning TV. Every pro update on our educative programs, as well as fun concepts, follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Joy Learning TV and on Instagram at Official Joy Learning TV. Joy Learning. Keep learning. giving students around the world access to free content. I believe it's been two years of exciting learning on Joy Learning. That is a recommendation that Joy Learning is good 
Joy Learning does have the potential to help every boy, every girl quicken what they are learning. I must say I have picked very relevant feedback from a lot of people who have been watching Joy Learning. And the experience for them has been great. Especially those who just wrote their BEC and was. They say that this program came at the right time to support them in achieving their aim of executing the agenda to pass their examination. I want to entreat all of you out there to watch Joy Learning, especially the students out there. You know why? Because we keep a promise and we give you best of content in terms of education. In the Akan realm, we see that as employed here. So, for you students out there, stay connected. Joy Learning. Keep learning. Hello and you welcome back. As I said, we're going to do practice. We have looked at our uh, uh, consonant sounds. That was the last thing that we did. We learned that in Form 1. We have also done it here. You can go back there and review it when you go to Joy Learning TV on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. You will find us there. So. Everything is there. When you go there, you can have a review of it. We have done vowels and consonant sounds. We have done diphthongs. And today we are reviewing. So this is the text I want us to do. And when you go, you have something like this. Text one. In this text, there are three words to a line. I am going to read one word from each line. Beside the word I read, there is a letter. Shade this letter on your answer sheet. And I said that's what you do in the exam room. Today we are writing that word or the letter. So let's go. We begin from number one. Number one. Pun. Number two. Bake. Number three. Ship. Number four. Ruin. Number five. Battle. Number six. Shook. Number seven, foam. Number eight, tan. Number nine, small. Number ten, layer. I hope you were able to identify the words that were pronounced. And as I said, our number is on your screen, 0302-211-705 or 0302-211-706. You can call us and give us your answers. We're waiting for you, and I'm sure you get all of them right. So we're waiting for your calls. We have done our test, we've done our vows, we've done our diphthongs, and the words have been provided. What we have to do is to be able to write the words as I gave them. We wait for you there in the exam, or you hear it just once as I pronounce them. You won't get to hear them twice. 
I hope that you're going to get through to us. 0302211705. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Erica. Yeah. You are welcome. Thank you. Erica, where are you calling us from? Takrade. Takrade. Are you yes. in the final year, Erica? Yes. Good. So could you give me your answers? Yeah, okay. So number one, C. Number one is? C. Okay. And number two, I didn't hear, so I couldn't write anything. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Number three? Number A. And what, what word was that? Number three, big. Number, number three, Erica, could you turn down the volume on your television and listen to us on your phone? Yeah, I've done it. Okay, so you said number three was what? A. Number three, okay. How is that pronounced? Big. Number three. Number three, A. What word is there? Sorry, number three. And what word is that? How do we pronounce it? Sure. Oh, please. Okay. Could you reduce the volume? Yeah, reduce it. I'm getting a feedback. I can... My ears are hurting. Okay, number four. Number three is A. Okay. Number four, B. Number four. What word is that? Ru Ru ruin. Ruin. Good. Okay. Number five. Number five, C. And how do you pronounce that? B two. And it says what? B. Hey, oh. sorry. Number five is C. Numbers. And how do you pronounce that? Battle. Okay. Battle. Number six. Number six, B. Okay. Number seven, A. Okay. Number eight, B. Okay. Number nine, C. Okay. And then number ten is A. Wonderful, wonderful. Kudos to you. But so you could. What's the answer for question B? Oh, I said bake. 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 And so what's that? A. Okay. We have another caller. Thank you very much, Erica, for calling us from Takradi. I hope you're doing well. Yes. Hello. Yeah. Yes, I can hear you. Could you please turn the volume on your television so we, you can talk to us on your phone? Uh, my name is James. James. Come I say okay. Your answer is James. Yes, please. Yes, I'm listening. Okay. Go on. Uh huh. Okay. 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 Number six. Okay. How do you pronounce that? Yes. Shook. Okay. Good. Number seven. And how do you pronounce that? Foam. 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 Good. Number eight. Number eight is How do you pronounce that? It's tan. Tan. Like the O in cam. Okay. So that's tan. Tan. Okay. Then number nine. Which is? Number ten. Hey, wonderful, wonderful. James from Kumase. Are you in the final year, James? Are you in your final year? Yes, please. Good. I am happy that those of you who have just got in touch are in your final year. Hello. Who do I have? Christopher. Yes, sir. Christopher, you are welcome. Thank you. Christopher, please, where are you getting to us from? I'm talking from... Oh, we have lost Christopher. Sorry. Sorry. 
So as we, we got to know, number one was C, pun, P, U, N, pun, okay? Then number two was bake, it's a diphthong, bake. Then we had ship, which is a short vowel. So we have number one, I want to pronounce all of them. We have pen, pen, pun. You, you have to do that when the examples are being read, okay? They will say, num Marvin. Yeah. Marvin, you are welcome. Hello. Marvin, where are you calling me from? I'm calling from Bingkum. Where, please? Bingkum. Yes. Okay, Marvin, give us your answers. Uh, yeah. Number one, C. Okay. Number two, E. That's, how do you pronounce that? B. Bake. Okay. Number three. Number three, B. Okay. Number three. Number three B. Number three. Number three B. Number three is A O. Ship. I guess I said ship. The B. The B is sheep. So number four. Number four C. Number four is ruin. Oh, you didn't hear that. B. I mean, my answer for number four. Number four, what, so pronounce the word for me. I, I can't hear you. Could you pronounce the word? Number four, B. B, okay. Okay, number five, C. C, okay. Number six, B. Number six, B, okay. Number seven, B. Good. Uh huh. Number eight, B. Number eight, B. Number 9, C. Good. Number 10, A. Number 10, A. Layer. Thank you all very much for getting through to us. Yeah. You've done well, and as I said, okay, I'll ask caller, then we'll move on to our next test, because we have to do our text too. Who do I have on the line, please? Hello? Hello? Yes, could you please turn the volume on your television so you can talk to us on your phone yeah, okay so let's let's go what are your answers please and what's your name please my name is Omar okay go ahead please your answers my answer for number one is C okay number two is A good Number three is A. Okay. Number four is B. Okay. Number five is C. C, okay. Number six is B. B. B, B. O okay. Number seven is phone. Phone, that's A. Yeah. Okay. Number two is B. B. How do you pronounce that? Number number eight. Yes, how do you pronounce the word? B. Tan. Tan. Okay, the O there is pronounced like the sound in come. Tan. Good. Then number nine. Number nine is C. Small. Small. That's C. Okay. Yes. And number ten. And number ten is L. A. A. Good. Good. Thank you very much. To all of you for calling, that was our text one. And you'll find something like this. Text one will be on vowels. Okay, so I'm pronouncing all the words. Number one, you have pin, pen, and pan. They all start from p and n on n. That which brings the difference is the vowel in the middle. The first one is i, b is e, and c is a. So you have pin, pen, and pan. Then you have bake, which is a different a, e, and i. Then you have beck, you have beak, okay, a long vowel, beak. Then you have ship, sheep, and sharp. So you have e, e, and r. Then you have rain, a, rain. And the other word there at b is ru and in. So we pronounce that ruin, ruin, okay, ru, in, ruin, destroy, okay, and then r, u, n is run. Then you have bottle, B-O-T-T-L-E, bottle. Then you have beetle. Then you have battle. OK, 
Okay, so you have the O, you have E, and then you have A. You have shake A and shook, shook the U and A and O, shock. Then you have O, foam, farm, and then we have form. You have ten, tan, and ten. Then you have smile, smell, and small. You have layer, layer, and liar. You're a liar. Layer. Great. I'm happy that all of you were able to call. Those who couldn't call, we will go to text two. And when we are text two, I expect you to get through to me. I'll wait for a while and get your answers, and then we will see. Let's go to text two. So this is our text two. 11. So this is what we hear. Listen carefully. In this test, there are three words to a line. I am going to read one word from each line. Beside the word I read, there is a letter. Shade this letter on your answer sheet. Start at number 11. Then two examples will be given. And as I've said, when the two examples are being given, your job is to read all the words there from number 11 to 20. And when you are done and you hear now, and we are starting, now get ready to answer the rest of text 2 on your answer sheet. Start at number 11. Number 11. Drain. Number 12. Few. Number 13. Bow. Number 14. Fate. Number 15. Room. Number 16. Trees. Number 17. Warp. Number 18. Plain. Number 19. Rattle. Number 20, berry. Please write the words because when you give me the answer, I'd like you to mention the word that you selected as your answer. That's why the words are still on your screen. Write, the, say the word that number one, this is what you said. Okay, just mention the words for me and then I'll be excited because you have to first say the word before you can identify it when it is said. So I'd like you to give me your answers by telling me the word. Don't say A, B, C. Of course, you'll be shading A, B, C, but you must first identify the word. So as form of our practice, as part of our practice, I'd like you to pronounce the answer for me. The words are on your screen. So waiting for your calls. Thus was on consonant sounds. And as I said, consonant sounds are not difficult to find. Salama too. Yes, please. Salamati, you are welcome. Thank you, sir. Please, where are you calling us from? Please, I'm calling, I'm calling you from Techiman. Techiman, Salamatu, yes. you are welcome. Thank you, sir. Salamati, could you please give me your answer? And as, as okay. you give me the answer, I pronounce the words that you identify. Okay. Okay. The answer is B, V. Okay. Question B, C. Okay. Good. Number fourteen is A six. Okay. Number fifteen is B moon. Okay. Number fifteen is B three. Okay. Number seventeen is B warp. 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 Okay. Number eighteen is C plain. Okay. Number nineteen is Rattle. Rattle, okay. And number 20 is B, berry. 
Wonderful, yes. wonderful, Salamati, wonderful. Thank you very much for calling. You've done so well. Thank you, sir. Archibald. Archibald. Hello. Archibald, you are welcome. Thank you, sir. Okay, so Archibald, give me your answers. Okay, number 11. Okay. I said you must pronounce the word because I want to get okay. your pronunciation as well. Three. Okay. Number 12. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh huh. So I want to hear you. Number 12. Number 12. <laughs> okay. Number 13. Ba. Okay. Number 14. <laughs> okay. Number 15. Womb. Okay. Number 16. Two. Okay. Number 17. Walk. Okay. Number 18. What's the answer? Five. Number 18. Number 18. Three. What letter? Is it A, B, C? C? Okay, C. Okay. Number 19. Rattle. Rattle. Okay. And number 20. Berry. Berry, which is B. Thank you very much, Archibald. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Happy that you are watching us and responding to yeah. us by calling. <laughs> Wonderful. So that was on consonants, and as I said, when you listen carefully, text 2 wouldn't be a problem. Consonant sounds are not difficult to identify. It is the vowels and the diphthongs that sometimes create problems for us. Yes, my faithful Kendra. Kendra. You are most welcome. Thank you. Kendra from North Legon or? New Legon. New Legon from Ada SHS, right? Please, yes. Yes, Kendra, I knew you'd call. You are one faithful caller and I'm happy to have you here. You are welcome. Thank you, sir. Give me your answers, Kendra. But you, you pronounce the words as well, right? Okay. And the name is B, Dre. Dre. Yes. Twelve is B C U. Okay. Third is C. Question how? Okay. Fourth is A fate. Okay. Fifteen is B womb. Good. Sixteen is B question is trees. Fifteen. Sixteen. Sixteen is B. Okay. And pronounce that for mm -hmm. me. Tree. Trees, okay. Seven is B. Okay. And eight is C. Pronounce the word for me. C plane. Good. Nineteen is also C. Rattle. Uh huh. And then twenty is B. Berry. Wonderful. Berry, right? Berry. Kendra, thank you very much for getting through to us once again. I have to get a special prize for you, you know. You and my friends at Benkum. Okay. Yes, I have to. Actually, say, sir. Good. So I was going to go through. Thank you all for getting through to us. We have text. Matilda. Hello. Matilda, you are most welcome. Thank you, sir. Matilda, where are you calling us from? Obuase. Obuase. Are you in a final year? Yes, sir. Good. I'm happy that you are watching us. Could you give us your answers, Matilda? Um, number 11, B. Please pronounce the word. I want to hear you pronounce the word so that it helps us. Drain. Okay. Number 13, C. Uh-huh. What's that? Dew. We, number 13, you said due, it was few. Okay, number 13, number 13. 
Number 13 is B. Okay. How do you pronounce that? P. Number 13. Hello, say. No, number 13, yes. Number 13, C. Okay. And I pronounce that for us. That is bow. Oh. You see cow, you see that the sounds are similar, they only differ at one sound. So the first one is cow, so you see k, then you have now, so it's n, and then here is b, so you have bow. They all end with ow, ow, right? So even if you can't pronounce one, once you hear the endings, then it gives you a clue as to how the other is pronounced. I hope you're okay. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go to the next one, 14. 14, a. Okay. 15. B. Okay. 16. B. 16. C. 16 was trees. Okay. So get that one too. Have trees. I hope you are okay. Yes, Have freeze, sir. trees, breeze. Okay, let's go. The next one. 17. B. B. How do you pronounce the word there? Wow. Okay, so get that. You see, W A R is wall. Have you seen that? Oh. So you add P to it and it becomes what? Warp. Warp. Great. Nice one. Let's go to the next one. Number 18, C. Pronounce it for me, please. C. Plain. Okay, number 19. Number 19, C. How do you pronounce that? Rattle. Rattle. Oh, good. Let's go. Number 20. 20B. How do you pronounce that? Berry. Berry. Great. Thank you very much, Matilda, for reaching us. Okay. Okay. So, this is what we're going to do. I want us to go quickly and then we will get all our, um, our sounds right. Right? So, I said the first one, you see all of them have rain, rain. Okay, so what we are testing is the initial sound. So it's T, D, and B. Paulina. Hello. Paulina, you're welcome. Thank you. This where are you wishing us from? Yes, I'm from Takrade. Takrade. Are you in the final year, please? Yes, please. Good. So let's go. Okay, so number 11 is B, drain. Uh, so pronounce the words for me and let's go like that. Drain. Okay. Number 12 is B, few. Uh -huh. Number 13 is B, bow. Okay. Number 14 is A, fate. Fate, okay. Number 15 is B, womb. Okay. Number 16 is B, trees. Okay. Number 17 is B, warp. Warp. I said warp. that too. So get that W A R, warp. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. And then number, number 18 is C, plane. Plane, A, plane, okay. Number 19 is C, rattle. Rattle, okay. And the number 20 is B, berry. Wonderful, Paulina. From Tech Credit, right? What, yes, what's, which SHS are you in? Fijai Senior High School. Fijai. Oh, nice one. Thank you very much for calling. Thank you, too. Okay. So, as I said, when you get to text two, they are consonant sounds. So, you have brain drain train they all have the rain rain in it so we have to be conscious if you pronounce them okay you would know when it is said number 12 you have new they all have ooh 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 so we have new few do and you know they are testing the initial sounds mm, f, or d. then you have cow now bow then this one the sound was in the middle Fate, then you have fade, then you have fake. So it's t, d, k. Those are the consonant sounds they are checking. Then you have tomb. When M and B, B meet like that, we don't say the B. They are all bilabial sounds and they are voice. So there's some sort of assimilation. That's for another day. But you don't say the B. So we say tomb, womb, and loom. So they all are there. We are just testing the initial, whether it's t or w or l. That's it. Then we have freeze. So we have ease. Therefore, the s here with the tree will also be pronounced as because e is 
voice. And when S is added, it becomes Z. So you have trees. Then you have breeze. Jonathan. Oh, Jonathan, we have lost you. And you have breeze. So, John. Yeah. Yeah, John, you're welcome. Thank you. John, where are you calling me from? I'm from Cape. Where? Cape, Cape Coast. Cape Coast, okay. John, are you in final year? No. Which form are you in? I'm form two. Form two? Yeah. Oh, good. No problem. We are still learning. And I hope you got your answers right. All the answers we gave, did you get yours right? Yeah. Okay. Which school are you in? Agri. Agri Memorial. Yeah. Okay. But I hope you are following the explanation I'm giving. Yeah. Good. So for 15, I've said that when you have M and B meeting at the end, we don't say, we don't pronounce the B. So it becomes like womb. So a word like T-H-U-M-B. T H U M B. You not pronounce the book, so you say it as thumb. So you say thumbs up, right? Yes. So I hope you are all right. Thank you very much for calling. We want to move on to our next. Oh, our last caller. Yes. Hello. 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 Point eleven. Please. What's your name? Hi. Where are you calling us from? We have lost that caller. So we go to our next text, which is text three. And thus, you wouldn't have to struggle. It's a combination of all that we have learned vowels, consonants, and diphthongs. They have been mixed. But here you have four words on a line so you will say text four listen carefully in this test there are four words to a line i am going to read one word from each line beside the word i read there is a letter shave this letter on your answer sheet start at number 21 and then you come Number 21, parked. Number 22, lace. Number 23, child. Number 24, Night. Number twenty five. Snoop. Number twenty six. Oats. Number twenty seven. Z. I hope you got what we said. Number 21, parked. Number 22, lace. Number 23, child. Number 24, night. Number 25, snoop. Number 26, Oats. Number 27, Z. I am sure that you have been able to identify the words. These were three words, on, four words on a line, and then you should be able to identify the words. So as I said, whenever the examples are being read, your duty is to read all the words before you hear the examiner saying, now get ready to answer the rest of text three on your answer sheet. Start at number 21. Because you would have read all of them, when the word is pronounced, you'll be able to find it. We're waiting for your calls, and I'm sure that you'll get through to us pretty shortly. This is 
our last test and thus you should get everything right. Our lines are there, down there on your screen, 03022117050302211706. Patrick. You are welcome, Patrick. Thank you. Please, where are you calling us from? Thank you. Thank you, Patrick. Yes, yes. Okay, Patrick, let's go. Where are your answers? You pronounce the words for me and you tell me yes. whether it is A, B, or C. So you pronounce the word and tell me whether it is A, B, or number, C, or D. Number 21. Pass. Is it A, B, C, or D? C. C or D? C. Okay. 22. 22 B. I said pronounce the word. C. Okay. 23. 23. Child. Okay. Must nice B. 24. 24. 9. Okay. 25. No. Okay, A, B, C, or D? B. Okay. 26. 26. A, B, C, or D? C. Okay. 27. 27. Dead. Which is A, B, C, or D? Good. Thank you very much. I hope you are following keenly. Thank you very much. So, our friends from Benkum have also brought the answer. Emanuela. Hello, Emanuela. Hello. You are welcome, Emanuela. Thank you. Emanuela, where are you calling us from? I'm. Okay. Thank you. Where are you calling me from? From the Vota region. The Vota region? Yes. Good. Are you in SHS? No. But you are listening and you are watching. That's wonderful. Which form are you in? No. Junior High School. Junior High School. That's wonderful. You are preparing yourself very well. Manuela, could you give me your answers? Yes. Okay. So give me your answer for number 21. Number 21. A. Number 21. C. What word is there? Back. 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 Okay. Parked. Okay. Number, number 22. 22. Lift. Is it B. A, B, or C? B. Okay. I'm Number listening. Number 23. Uh huh. B. Okay. Child. Child. Okay. Nice. Manuela. Number 23. Number 24. Night. Night. Okay. A. Hey, good. Number 25. No. A. A. Number 25. What word is there? What did we say? Mm. Okay. Is it A, B, C, or D? B. B. Okay, Manuela. Let's go to number 26. Number 26. A. Number 26. A. Oh, that is oaks. But I said something else. I didn't say oaks. Emanuela. Oh. Okay, Emanuela, thank you very much for getting to it. You've done well. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Bye -bye. Emanuela, somebody was behind you, but you've done well. Hello. Hello. Yes. Please tell me where you are calling us from and your school. I'm calling 
from both Arizona. Okay. About year high. Okay. Are you in the final year? No, I'm in second year. That's all right. That's good. Some are preparing to take off deck, and you still meet some of these. It's good that you are watching us. Okay. Yeah. Please, your name. My name is Perry. I'd like to get your name, all. Perry. Perry. Oh, Perry. Perry. Yeah. Okay. Give us your answers. Twenty-one to twenty-seven. Number twenty-one. C. Five. Pronounce the word for me. Five. Okay. 22. 22. Don't listen to yourself on the telly. Listen to yourself through the phone. Okay. 22. Mm. Pronounce the word. Mm. Okay. Turn down the volume. The volume on your telly. I can hear you. 22. Okay. Salamatu. Perry, we couldn't hear you properly. Salamatu. Hello, sir. Okay, Salamatu, could you give us your answers? Salamatu from Techiman, right? Please, yes, I'm a Form 1 student. You are a Form 1 student, sir. Please, yes. And you and Kendra, I have a special award for you, okay? Okay, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. sir, my answers go now. Okay. Number 21 is C, Pat. Okay. Number 22 is B, Lace. Lace, okay. Lace. Number 23 is child. Chai, I, child. child. Okay. Child. Okay. Number 24 is A, night. Night, okay. And number 25 is B, snoop. Okay. Number 26 is C, oat. Oat, okay. And number 27 is A, Z. Z. Oh, Z. <laughs> Z. Wonderful. Salamatu. Thank you very much for calling. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I like the energy. From Salamatu. You see, P A R K Park. Then the E D will be pronounced as though you were pronouncing T. So that's parked. Parked. But the P A C T is packed. Packed. So the distinction was between the long vowel here and the short vowel. The short vowel is this A. Uh, the long vowel here is the A we know with a colon in front of it. So that's parked. And this one is packed. Then we have picked and peaked. Have less lace. Let's learn the A. Huh? A, lace, mace, mess, less. Then you have child and child. A, A, a diphthong is here, I. Then you have filed. That's another diphthong here, I. Then you have filled. Okay, A. And then you had night right might and light so we're testing the consonant sounds at the beginning mm, r, mm, and l. then you have snook snoop snood and snoot so we're testing the final consonants snook snoop snood snoot don't forget that then we had oaks oh we learned that uh, and O as in O. And then we have X or X. Okay, you have X here and you have oat. That's another O. Then we have eat. Okay, so you have your E and then t. Hello? 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 Yes. Your name and where you are calling us from? Uh, Brian. Brian. Brian from Aguna Swedru. Yes, please. Brian, are you in your final year? No, please. Okay. I'm happy that I have those who are also in the first and second years calling. And even Manuela in SJHS. Wonderful. Brian, you are welcome. Thank you. I hope you're able to get our answers as I've tried to explain them. Yes. Okay, pronounce your answers and let's go. The first one. Number 21, part. Okay. Number 22, lace. 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 The C E S. Okay. And then number 23, cloud. Okay. Number 24, night. Okay. Number 25, snoop. Snoop. Okay. 
Number twenty six, oats. Oh, 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 oats. oats. Okay, oats. Okay. Number twenty seven, Z. Z. Good, Brian. Brian from Agunes Radio. Thank you very much for reaching us. Okay. Thank you. And continue to watch Joy Learning, right? To help you a great deal. So as I said, all of these are things that we should be able to handle when we meet them. That's text three. A combination of vowels and consonant sounds and diphthongs. Hello. Oh, we have lost our caller. We have our last text, which is text four. And I'm sure that we wouldn't found any difficulty handling text four. I said that today we're going to do text one, text two, text three, and text four. We have done text one, which was based on vowels and diphthongs, and with the vowels, we noticed that we had long and short vowels. Hello. 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 Yes. Hello. You are welcome. Thank you. This who am I speaking with? Hello. Hello. You are welcome. Please listen to me on your phone. Don't listen to me on your television, right? Okay, we have lost you. So let's let's continue. So we're going to text four. We are done with text three. Let's look at our text four. And text four is a, a bit different from text three. So text four, you have this. It will say, let's we have we have moved on to text four. So I do not know. Ha, who am I talking with, please? Hold on, so that when we finish the text war, so that I'll give you my answers. Okay, okay. Are you going to be on like that for us? Yeah, I don't want to hang up. <laughs> okay, what's your name, please? My name is Umar. Umar? Yeah, I'm calling from Northern Region. Northern Region. Which school are you in, please, Umar? I'm, I'm Sabzugu Senior High. Sabzugu? Senior High. Wonderful. Are you in the final year? Yeah. Good. Okay, hang on. Then let's go. So, we are doing text four, right? Yeah. Okay, so we say, listen carefully. In this text, there are three sentences in each group. I am going to read one sentence from each group. Beside the sentence I read, there is a letter. Shape this letter on your answer sheet. Start at number 28. Number 28, they were executed. Number 29, that's a curve. Number 30, it was a tassel. Number 31, Dede was going for a jug. Number 32, Abu was famished. Number 34, I think I have number 34 here. Number 33 they didn't come. Number 33. Yao used the steam. Yao used the, st the word steam. Number 34. He remained courteous. So we go back. And then we get our answers from there. So when you call, you just tell me the answer and then we will go. We're starting from number 28. Uma. Yeah. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still there. I hope you got my answer for me. Number 28. Yeah. Number 28. Yeah. What's your answer? What's your answer? Uh, we start at number 28. Yes. Number 28 is C. Okay. Could you read that for me? Sorry. 
they were except they were listen to me on your phone umar okay okay number 28 i can't see my okay they were they were expelled so we'll get the word i wanted you to pronounce the word for me they were executed executed okay okay and then number 29 number 29 is a Pe read the sentence that is a curve great that's a curve number 30 number 30 that's b okay pronounce it for me it was it was a tassel i think there should be a here okay. yeah yes it was a tassel okay so you got that one right it yes. was a parcel it was a tassel great thank you very much umar for keeping faith with us and being on the line that long okay nicholas yes please nicholas yes please okay nicholas number 28 you have all your answers yeah i'm calling from Oboase. Oboase. are you in the final year nicholas yeah, I'm the final year student. You are a final year student? No, I'm, I'm Form 1. You are in Form 1? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much for joining us. Yeah. What's your answer for number 28? Number 28. They were executed. They were executed. Okay. Number 21. A. That's a curve. Number 29. That's a curve. Okay. Number 30. It was puzzled. It was a B. B. Tassel, right? It was a tassel. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's go to the next one and let's see those who also get through to us. So the answer 20, 31 to 34. Yes. You're still waiting for your calls. I'm waiting for my usual suspect. <laughs> I don't know whether to mention Salamatu or Kendra or Ashibold, Brian. So we're waiting. Number 31. We had Day Day was going for a jug. Abu was famished, number 32. Number 33, Yao used the word steam. Number 34, he remained courteous. Hello. Who do I have on the line? Silas. Silas. You are welcome. Thank you. Please, could you give me your answers? Number 31. Number 31. The day was going for a jack. Okay. Is it A, B, or C? B. Okay. And the word there that you identify as the answer is what? The day was going for a jack. Spell the word for me. Jack. Okay, I said you should spell it. J U G. Good. Jug. Great. Number 32. Abu was punished. Is it A, B, or C? A. Wow. I, I don't know. Did you really hear me? Okay, now goes number 33. Yeah, we use. The steam. Yeah, I'll use the word. I think there's a word here. Okay, you got it right. Yes, yeah, I'll use the, the word, word steam. steam. Okay, that's that's true. Num number thirty-four. He remained. He remained. He remained. 
Let's say he remained. He remained circus. Which one? C. Okay. C. That's cautious. But cautious. Uh -huh, that's cautious. But I used the B, which is courteous. He remained courteous. The first one is he remained conscious. And then we have he remained courteous. And the C is he remained cautious. Okay? Thank you very much for calling. Okay. So these are some of the things that we see text 1, text 2, text 3, text 4. Text 1 is on vowels, long or short. Then you have diphthongs, which is a combination of vowel sounds. Three words on a line. One will be said and you identify it. You have to listen carefully so that you will not be found wanting. Then text 2 will be on consonant sounds. That which will be tested could be at the word initial, could be in the middle, or it could be at the end. And there will be consonant sounds. So don't forget that. Then text 3 is a combination. Nicholas. Oh, we have lost Nicholas. Text 3 will be a combination of vowel sounds, pure vowels, long or short, and diphthongs. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes, please. That's our last caller, and then we will wrap up for today. Please, what's your name and where are you calling us from? Please, I'm called Daniel. Daniel. Yes. Daniel from? Yeah. Um, which school are you in, Daniel? Yeah, the Pranot, yeah, I see. Okay. So, Daniel, could you give me your answers, please? In the Prano Junior High School. Okay. So, give me your answers, Daniel. 31 to 34. Okay. Please, um, question one is B. 31. 31 is B. So, read, read your answer, please. The day was going for a job. Okay. That's correct. 32. Um, 32. A was famished. A, B, or C? B, or C? A, B, or C? Is it A, B, or C? C. C, famished. Very hungry. Yes. 33. Uh huh. You, um, you it's Yao, Yao. Okay. Yao use the, Yao use the word steam. Okay, Yao use the word steam. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then and 34. 34. He remained courteous. Care. Say courteous for me. Courteous. Yes, please. Say that for me. Courteous. 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 Say courtesy, right? So when you are courteous, means you are polite. You, are, you have yes. good manners. And then the first one is conscious. I, I, thank you very much for getting through to us. So as I said, we will have... Text 1 up to text 8, our final year students, and we have just done text 1 to 4. You have text 5, text 6, text 7, because those are where we have challenges. For text 5, we'll be doing rhyme, okay, a word, and another word that has the same sound as that which you will hear. In text 5, you know hear the word that is said on, you not find it on your word list, okay? You only hear it, and you have to find one of the words that has the same sound as the, uh, as that which you hear, which you say find a word that rhymes what you with what you hear. So that would be text five and text six. You will be doing stress. That's where you hear coffee is my friend or coffee is my friend. So you'll be doing all of that, and text seven will be on intonation. It's been wonderful coming your way. All of you who call Salama to Kendra, Brian, Perry, Manuela from Ho, that young lady there, and all my friends from Binkum, Archibald, and all the wonderful people, wherever you are, who watched us. It's been wonderful. Don't you forget, as I've always said, I love you to bits. Bye for now. <laughs>